I am Minimi Manolo, and today I am interviewing this guy, Paul Bellini. Paul, hello. Hi, Minimi. You are a man of many talents. Name one. Well, uh, I'm primarily a writer, but I'm also a performer. I host events and I do monologues and stuff like that. I, I make short films. I um, teach classes in comedy, sketch comedy. So that's more than one. <laughs> Sorry. You wrote a book. Did you use a pen? Uh, actually, I wrote it using a computer. Um, what it is, is a, it's a book, it's called The Fab Columns, and it is a compilation of all the columns that I wrote for Fab Magazine for the last 10 years, and um, I just really wanted to do it. I wanted to do a book that sort of showcased my, my nonfiction writing, and uh, it's got articles on Lots of stuff about the gay community and celebrities and gay porn, obviously. I touch on that quite a bit. Um, community events and all sorts of things. It's just a general interest column. What time do you get up in the morning? Well, uh, usually I get up between 8 and 9. Why? Why, Paul? Why do people suffer? <laughs> I think suffering is... Well, I think it's inherent in human uh, life, obviously, because uh, we all have we all have disappointments and we all get ill. I think we suffer for a lot of different reasons. Sometimes we don't meet our own expectations, uh, and sometimes when we're not suffering, we are insufferable. So I think it's just something that can't be avoided. Mm, if you were soup, what kind of soup would you be? I like to think that if I was soup, that I would be a delicious bouillabaisse filled with gorgeous ingredients from the sea. Fresh lobster meat, uh, clams, shrimp, um, uh, some beautiful white fish, all in a hearty broth made from tomato and potato with lots of dill. I think that would be delicious and nutritious. How old are you? No, really. Well, I'm actually 53 years old right now. I know that I look incredibly young for my age, but I am 53. And uh, sometimes I like to lie about my age and tell people I'm in my 60s just to see their reaction. It's all in good fun. Tell me about your politics. I'm not a very political person, although if I had to make a choice, I would say that I'm soft left. I... I, sometimes I think that I really wish that uh, the Republican Party and conservatives in general didn't align themselves with Christian conservatives. I think that was a bad move. I think that the best thing you can do is be a social democrat and care about other people. Politics really should be about humanity. and um, But at the same time, I don't like hard left politics where everything's always so shrill and politically correct. I don't see that really uh, adding to the discourse. Blah, 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 no one cares what you think. And next question, why are you so short? Well, I come from short parents. And my father's only about 5'6", my mother's 5'2". It's a miracle I actually turned out this tall. So we're just short Italian people. Hmm, hmm. Apparently, uh, there are other achievements, awards, and such. Uh, tell us about all that other stuff, but make it quick. I have to use a little boy's room. <laughs> well, well, you mean like a career overview? I, uh, I went to York University with Scott Thompson of Kids in the Hall, and, and soon after graduating, he joined the comedy troupe, and I was sort of hung around with them, and when they got their TV show, they hired me as a writer. So I began my professional career actually writing for one of the best TV shows ever made, which is not something most people can lay claim to. Uh, after that, I, I wrote and produced material for this hour's 22 minutes, and I worked in television basically for quite a few years after that, award shows, cartoons, comedy shows, and such. Um, that's primarily it, and I've always been a writer. I've always, always been a writer. Finally, Paul, will you lend me 30 bucks? Um, I 
only have a fiver on me. Is that okay? Can you make do with five? Ah, this has been Minimi Manolo interviewing one Paul Bellini. Next time, someone interesting. Until then, goodbye. Thank you, Minimi. Goodbye. Oh.